this video was filmed way back around the start of the year actually but it's been struggling to find a place in my channel's video upload queue since many exciting projects have been taking the spotlight as in personal stereo videos commodore amiga and commodore 64 videos recently but i've had more than a couple of people asking about which microphones i use so i think i'll squeeze this video in between projects otherwise it's just never gonna get a chance to be seen <laughs> Also, the footage you're seeing now is from way back when I first bought the Nikon D7200 DSLR camera. If you wish to watch the complete video of that and you know all the accessories I got with it, the link is in the description below or the letter I in the top right corner. Now today I am here with my audio head again <laughs> and I'm gonna do an unboxing of this thing. The Zoom H2N EXT. <laughs> well, this is quite an amazing piece of kit, you know, this Zoom microphone, and it's just what I needed. Now, currently I am using my Behringer or Behringer mics, the, the two stereo ones, the C2, I believe, and uh, they are they are absolutely excellent. Okay, the ice cream truck. I'm in an ice cream now. <laughs> However, they're not so portable. You know, I connect them to my mixer and then I connect the, the headphone out to my mixer to this camera. So it is like one wire going all the way to the mixer across the room and then <laughs> one wire coming back all the way from the mixer to the camera. So as you can see, it's it takes time and it's havoc to set up. Seriously, there's like wires everywhere and cables everywhere, I should say. And, um, you know, it's annoying. And I find myself procrastinating sometimes when making videos. Uh, so, I decided, no, I, I need one of these. <laughs> so it's something like this anyway. The related videos in the description below. Uh, the links to the Yamaha review and also the links to my camera review and its monitor and all the stuff when I bought that. So anyway, moving on to this. This, basically, to those of you who do not know, is um, a microphone, a portable microphone, and um, you can basically record in it SD. However, um, even though I do plan to use the SD card, I'm I want to plan I want to connect this directly to the camera. And um, I didn't really, again, I didn't really find many reviews that could state that. It can do that. Maybe you know I haven't looked enough. I haven't looked at many reviews of this, to be honest. But those ones I did look at did not say that you can you know directly hook it up to the camera. You can. <laughs> well, I think you can anyway. I'm assuming. It says line out here. The batteries go in the back here like this, and the SD card goes here, and it takes a large SD card. So. If you have a micro SD, you'll need an adapter, which they come with them anyway, most of the time. Now it comes with this, which I have not opened yet. I mean, come on, this is me. I don't, I don't mess around with manuals. I <laughs> just leave the manual aside. Okay, so this is a avoid what avoid bending or blah blah blah. Okay, we all know how to deal with SD cards. Okay, so. This it comes with a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is Cubis uh, LE. Oh, you get it! Cubis LE startup guide. Wow. <laughs> it comes with Cubis and Wavelab. Brilliant! Thank you for purchasing a Zoom product. Please register your product. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. H2, and you get the instruction manual and for Steinberg software. So, man, how many pieces of paper are they here? <laughs> okay. So first things first, okay just before I switch this on, I'm going to give you and myself a bit of a comparison on how this is going to sound compared to what I'm using at the moment. Now at the moment I'm using the stereo Behringer C2s um, with the Yamaha mixer. However before that you will have noticed throughout my history of my videos I've been struggling with the sound. There's been times where there's a huge, enormous hiss going on in the background, which annoys me. And um, at other times, it's just, you know, the sound is not right or something or there is up. Well, 
when I got this camera I bought a microphone bundle, a shotgun microphone just for my camera and I thought okay you know this is gonna be good because it seemed good, the reviews were good. Now this here I got at the same time as I got this camera and this the monitor and you know, this I got based on the reviews and I swear whoever wrote the freaking reviews for this thing you know, all the reviewers must have had cotton wool in their ears or an excess amount of freaking wax because this thing hisses like crazy. I'm not happy with this thing and and it's already falling apart. Fantastic. I wish I had returned this, you know, but I had it. I'll, I'll switch this on. For this, I have to turn the camera sensitivity high. Now, when I turn it high, that is what causes the hiss. not bad. It's better than the built-in microphone, this is for sure, which is what the, prob what the reviewers are probably comparing it against. But if I stay quiet, you can hear a hiss. Now that hiss is prominent when, especially when I'm far away, a little far away from the microphone, uh, like far away from the camera and the microphone, and I'm doing my own thing. Now of course, um, let me show you the, the built-in microphone. Okay, now you can hear the built-in one. There's a lot of background noise. You can hear my voice, but it is reverberating off the vo- of the la. <laughs> okay, you can hear my voice. It is first reverberating off the walls before it reaches you. And obviously part of it's reaching you directly. So it's not directional, it's just, it's, it's meh. And this <laughs> sounded like a freaking sheep then. <laughs> it's meh. Anyway, <laughs> we have sound, and you can change the sound sensitivity with this dial here. I mean, this is pretty good. You can see the display over here. Wow, the entire thing changes when I move it around. Now you can see the display here. It's got the view meters, which I love. You know, I like things visual. <laughs> and um, let me just put that back up. Of course, it is powered by two AA batteries, and uh, I mean this thing has got a lot of. Um, I mean, it's it's like four directional. It's um, surround microphone, so this is two channel. And uh, let me just stick this onto MS. I don't know what MS. Is. Okay, I'm not sure what MS means. Um, check the manual for. Right, okay, I have it set to MS, which means, according to the manual, means mid-side. Now, when you have it in MS, you can adjust the stereo width, the stereo separation, using this play dial. You have a lot of options to control this. Um, aha, as the lights are indicating, these microphones are off. But these two microphones are on. Okay, so with the XY, it's practically just like, you know, stereo, the normal uh, stereo XY stereo, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what XY stereo is. Let me just check here. This mod records in stereo with mix up 90 degree angles. This allows natural, deep, and accurate sound image to be captured. So, four channel, uh, it captures the background also. So MS is mid-side, and, and it says here this mod uses a mid-mic to capture the sound directly and a bi-directional side-mic to capture the sound from left and right. The recording level of the side-mic S level can be adjusted, allowing the stereo width to be changed. If you record with the S level set to MS RAW, you can also adjust the S level after recording. So kind of like a RAW image format, format. you can change the, the settings afterwards. Now this is basically capturing background sound, so it's capturing, you know, all around me here and in front of me, so it's everything. Now if we change this here to the XY mix, then basically it's just capturing me, my voice, and, you know, nothing in the background. So you can see the light is just switched to here, so it's just capturing what it's hearing on this side, you know, to a 90 degrees, so it's like... You know, each, each make, I, as far as I know, each make is 90 degrees here. Now these two are the Beheringer or Beheringer um, mix, the C2 mix, and these are excellent, you know, for uh, when I connect it to the mixer. However, the problem is, I couldn't even show you before because the wire had run out and I couldn't even put them in front. 
and so portability is a huge issue however you know this is amazing for stuff i can do over there at my computer like voiceovers things like this uh, or even nostalgia time you know which i you know just do over there anyway because the amiga is just next to it i mean i need to get a wind cover for this because as you can see it's very sensitive now luckily with my monitor screen, my, the monitor screen for my camera, I got some extra parts for the, um, you know, this, this thing here, I can screw this coupler. Now I can very easily, um, on the shoe mount itself, and it's above me without, you know, having anything around knock around or anything like that so you can always be here i'm basically testing this for myself i haven't tested it and i'm discovering it new <laughs> without the instructions or anything like this i'm moving over to the side and now to the side so it captures the stereo very well i hope you enjoyed watching me discover and explore my new microphones and uh, i hope this helps somebody out if uh, they're interested in anything like this so that is it for now Thanks so much for your likes, your shares, do leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check out my other videos and of course do subscribe for more. For now I will say adios!